okay same thing now we will make a v bond up i'll go to my topology click on start it will not take so much time because we want having the same image like vh is having but just that we are defining under the v bond complication that you are the v bond that's it okay now we can close this one and click single click just you need to do so if you are not selecting any uh, html uh, when you are logging into e if you are selecting native mode then through the single click you will not able to open any image in the web browser so you, you just need to log out your lab and you just need to select the html console when you are logging into the eve that's way that you are able to access this images on the web browser so we can wait for 30 seconds more for system ready okay you got it now admin admin the same thing we will do for this we will take the party session but before the party session we need to check the interface is part of okay it's already there 512 okay 103 okay we can take another session one zero three admin admin now show interface description five tab nothing is there we need to configure from the scratch so if i will go to the notepad configuration is already there so last time i did the <laughs> manual sorry i did the manual configuration now i will copy and paste just so my system ip will be as per my design 3.3.3.10.10.10.21 okay and in notepad okay we want trainer just site id we want 21 okay so i will just copy and paste okay. so we want go to the config mode and just right click configure everyone so what changes we have done let me show you the difference here we own other on every other devices like we manage we smart vh we are assigning the v bond ip only but here we are configuring that v bond 10.10.10.1 local v bond only that's way we are defining in this image that you are the v bond so still its name is vh as i will commit the name will change commit it's done okay now i need to do the configuration of interfaces so config t vpn 0 interface g0 not another interface and ip address is this and no shirt copy and paste <laughs> done <coughs> comment now i can see the configuration show interface description five tab ip is there okay and show running configuration okay system ip site id organization name we want okay my interface is also configured Now I can check the ping. 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 22. It's ping. Sachin, why there is no there is a command called no tunnel interface in the V bond? Yeah, the reason is that now we are doing well now right now we have done our V manage up right and root certificate is there because we have made the certificate of authority to the V manage right so what we need to do we will require the same certificate file 
root ca dot pam for every controller so that root change certificate will be same if we will use if you will not use this command no tunnel interface by default every edge is having this ge00 will be part of tunnel interface as i told you last week that suppose for example i will show you this one because as we discussed that every image on in on hardware side we run the ztp to run the ztp the interface should be on tunnel interface so the by default config of ge00 is tunnel interface that's a default config but the default config we cannot use because we need to transfer the file and if we will keep the tunnel interface on it will hit the overlay of we manage but if you want to keep pick that file from its we manage database that hit should go to the underlay right so that is the problem if you will keep the overlay up it will reach to the vmanage through the overlay and the file is not available on the overlay file is available when you are reaching that device through the underlay network so i will show you that what command we need to run that's the reason we make the no tunnel interface so now if you will go to the configuration device controller okay on the vmanage here controllers now we will add v bond so v bond ip will be 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 21 username admin admin here we already check box generate csr add okay network is unreachable let me try that IP. Okay. Oh, sorry. First, I need to check the reachability. Okay. 10.10.10.10. Okay. 22 is being. Nine. Nine is pinging, then why ten is not pinging? Okay, mm -hmm. I got it. One thing is missed in this configuration that is default route. Yeah, you guys can also write one line. There is one default route we need to point it out from both of the device. I mean, we manage so this default route we will put on the under VPN zero. VPN zero. IP route. Zero dot zero dot zero dot zero slash zero, and that will be ten dot ten dot ten dot nine. My next stop. Commit. Let me do on the V bond also. Config P VPN zero. Ten dot ten dot ten dot twenty two. Sorry. Type it out. Zero slash zero. Sachin. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, so VPN zero will be used for what? Can you please repeat it again? If 
yeah yeah yes yeah yeah you on that on last week we discussed that we have uh, three type of vpns one is transport vpn one mm -hmm. is service vpn and another is management vpn right 512 is a fix for management vpn and mm -hmm. vpn 0 is fixed for transport vpn so in this topology as you will see we are using this vpn 0 as a transport vpn which means here we connected you can assume like a one isp cable or internet ip we have assigned the same thing we will do for every edge these all transport ge0 slash 1 ge0 slash 0 0 1 0 1 these are the 0 1 all will be part of vpn 0 that is mandatory you cannot configure any transport under the vpn 1 2 5 1 1 if we will check the range vpn 1 to 5 1 1 those are reserved for the LAN side service VPN. We say VPN 10, 20, 30, whatever you are using on the LAN side, those are reserved for the LAN. VPN 0 is a transport VPN, means your all WAN connection will be configured under this transport. Clear? So now I have put the comment. Let me check. Ping 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 10. Okay, it's pinging now. Okay. Now we can add in the V manage add controller V1 D1 admin admin. So it's added. V bond is there. Here you can see certificate status not installed. But on the V manage we installed. So system IP, site ID, all things we can see here. Here is blank. Now we will refer this notepad. Now configuration, basic configuration is done. So what we will do, we will go to the V shell and put that file to the V bond. Now we will go to the V manage. There's a multiple way. Either you can put that file from V manage to V bond. Either you can pick that file from V1 to V manage. So that's vice versa. So exit, exit. So we'll go to V shell. Run this command SCP. For SCP transfer, we are doing this. We are in V manage. Okay. So just enter. It will ask the SSH password is admin. Done. Okay. And I will also put the same command. Okay. Still, V smart is not up. So we will run this command again. Okay. Sorry. Key also we need to put. These two files will be required. So if I will see on this one, V bond, we shall ls minus l. This file is there, just now transferred. 956. Okay. So now we we already raised the request right here when we added the V bond. That time there was a checkbox. I will show you again. When we fill the details, there was a checkbox already there. Generate CSR. So we don't need to generate any sign request again. We already generated and we can see in the V bond the file is there. V bond underscore CSR is already there. Right. So we need to sign that file. Actually, it's a signing request from the V manage that sign this V bond file. So now we will sign that file. Under the V bond also. Here. Now it's created another file ls minus l that is v1 dot crt. So we'll do the same thing cat 
cat this file and just copy the content. This is the signed certificate which is signed by root ca.pam that is a authority under the vmanage. So those files we already transfer from vmanage to v1 and we are signing this request in the v1 also with those with the help of those files. Right. The same thing you can also do from the vmanage also. You need to there is some another lengthy process then you need to raise that signing request. You need to copy that content. You need to make one file create that file through vi in the we manage the file is created now and there is already uh, root ca uh, dot key and root ca dot pam is already there authority and key is already there those key you can use to sign that file and from there you can copy this content the crt so there's a multiple ways that the basically is that that this uh, we need to sign those requested with the same file which we created is an initial stage Okay, we'll just copy that. We will use that notepad so that there will be no error. Delete, paste. Just check the space. Control A, Control C. Copy that and select your keyboard. Okay. And okay, I need to go to certificate. Sorry certificate controllers select the v bond here you can see no certificate installed however csr is generated so that csr we already signed paste here control v just check the space again if any single space it will not be sync up with the v manage so if i will go to the website the same thing you will see there. Add controller, username, password, view CSR, right? Generate CSR. So here they are doing in a different way. They generated the CSR. Okay. They copy that content. Okay. Then create one file through Vim or Vim VI V bond dot CSR. Page that content under that file. And then this file is again signed by dot pam and dot key right i am i am i have just transferred this file to from v manage to v bond and i'm i am just signing those this csr file under the v bond so there's a multiple ways the condition is that these files should be same you cannot create the v bond uh, means that v bond is having different root ca dot pam and v manage having different root ca dot pam so there will be two authority and then you will see okay why they are not getting sync up because it's a matter of uh, uh, certificates and the signing authority with the same parameters. Like you can see that these are the showing US state, California, La, this, this is the city, right? Over what will the organization name? So these are the some parameters. If you will go to the detail and certificate authority, these are some details should be common. Okay. So now we can see our V bond is success. Okay. So here you can see one V bond is there, right? But still you will see that it has not created any tunnel with the V bond right now. So control connection. TLS, okay, it's created. One minute, 55 seconds back. Okay, tunnel interface is already up on the vManage. Okay, okay, that's the reason. Yeah, so it is up now. Give me one. Then now we will do the same thing for the vSmart. Like and subscribe my channel and share with those guys who want to learn SD-WAN. Thank you so much.